what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be working on the all-wheel drive crx a little bit here you guys were supposed to be seeing a different video i did a full um like breakdown of my rear axle problem and doing the installation of the insane shaft 500 horsepower rated axles um the car has the axles already installed in the car the reason why you guys are not seeing that footage is because i somehow lost literally like 60 percent of the footages so um yeah we have the insane axles installed into this car already after i got it installed i was driving around town to make sure the car wasn't having any weird sounds or anything like that with the new rear axles everything was golden and uh what had happened was i went to go to the gas station get some e85 and i was like you know what let's go do some dig launches and uh i'm not really uh the type of person to hoon especially by myself so i went out to a spot um in mexico and uh did a quick like dig hit and uh destroyed something underneath my car the car still drove but it's clacking really bad uh i did take a look underneath the car it doesn't seem to be the axle whatsoever but what i did notice is a huge pile of oil I'm gonna insert this clip right now. It is kind of dark. This is the only footage that I had because I had downloaded it to my phone before my computer and uh, lost everything there. But this footage is really dark. I'm gonna admit this one. It's probably a driver's error. For one, I didn't, I didn't really preload it. Two, I didn't really use the e-brake. Three, I didn't hold the two-step long enough, and I just pretty much destroyed whatever got destroyed that we're gonna try to figure out today. And like I mentioned, the car still drove, but uh, just makes a ton of noise. Um, I'm almost wanting to believe it's my transfer case, but like I said, we'll dive into it a little bit today. So I just got back from Best Buy and I'm still using my GoPro, but I finally got an upgrade from my last broken G7X Mark II. So because the G7X Mark II was the one I got two years ago, just like every other camera, just like the GoPro, they always come out with a different model. So this is the Mark III that I got credited for. And I picked up a new Mark III. Now I'm not using this right now because I'm waiting to uh, figure out where the screen protector is at here in the garage so I can put a screen protector on it. See if I can try to find a case. The GoPro quality is not too bad. So I'm just gonna use the GoPro for now. And um, we'll use this probably Probably, I don't know 2021 because this is my third camera I got one for 20 2019 one for 2020 and I got a third one for next year the GoPro right now is doing pretty good so I'm probably just gonna keep using this for now and uh, right now we we'll jack up the car and see what we find all right so it looks like a ton of oil here still attached Ooh, that's a lot of oil. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Ouch. So it looks like I'm gonna have to remove the downpipe, which should be simple because it is V-band. I removed the downpipe in order to remove the transfer case because the gear itself goes all the way over here and I need to back this whole thing out but the downpipe is in the way so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that quick dang guys <laughs> as soon as the downpipe came down I just kind of loosened up the v-band the freaking cap literally just fell out of my face right there L broken T case Holy mackerel. Honestly? Nah, the case is broken, broken, but I don't think the gear itself snapped. Well, Keem snapped his shaft in half, his, his uh, transfer gear. We'll figure it out. So right now, uh, I gotta take off, I gotta jack up the back to get the wheels kicked up so I can rotate the drive shaft to uh, get to all the bolts. There's four, 
on the transfer case to the adapter to the drive shaft there's this 12 mil here there's four 14 mil bolts i think four or five that goes from the transfer case to the transmission and uh i'm gonna drain the oil real quick <laughs> so pretty much this case is cracked all the way to the front transfer gear look at that i got a huge crack crack is bad guys crack is bad do not do crack do not cause crack um the good thing is the gear that goes to the differential nothing is broken so i doubt anything has kind of flung into the transmission and i'm hoping that my diff is good uh easy way to check it is to put a flashlight in there rotate the wheels and gear and just watch the diff um teeth to see if anything is missing but i doubt it is you know if i could find all the pieces i'm pretty sure i can jb weld it back i don't see why not you know what i mean as long as everything is within clearance we should be okay put a new o-ring we should be gucci taters but um Everything still spins, which is weird because uh, every time Joaquin broke his, he'd be snapping the shaft and all that. And literally his whole transfer case would fall out of his transmission. Normally I hold the e-brake up, load it up, um, you know, get the car to roll a little bit and let it bite. But uh, when I was out there that night, I was, you know, a little, a little skeptic about doing so. And I just went for it and did not do, you know, my launch how I normally do it. And it pretty much just went kaboom. So um, the good thing is I have a spare transmission in the storage and on my way back home, I went and I snagged it, which is right here. This guy right here is from my spare transmission in the storage. Um, I did have like three other transmission, but I sold them because, you know, I think one was enough. Um, but now I'm going to search for another transfer case as a complete transfer case to the other transmission that's in the storage. So I don't have a transmission without one. So I'm pretty much going to transfer this guy over here clean the surface up clean the surface underneath the car rtv it reinstall it and hopefully everything's good and dandy so if any of you guys got a be all wheel drive five speed specifically five speed transfer case for sale let me know i'm looking for a spare and uh they are different from the automatic so um I'm, I'm gonna need you guys to send me some pictures if you have one for sale so i can verify before buying it let me know weird this thing is loose that is weird So I just cleaned the bottom here with degreaser, brake cleaner, and microfiber rag just to get a lot of the oil and stuff off of the surrounding areas of the exhaust system because when I blew that transfer case, man, the whole car was smoking on the road. So right now I'm going to go ahead and put some RTV on here real quick. 
before I put the transfer case and this thing is freaking dried. so heavy Hell yeah, brother. About to be back in action, boy. Kind of, maybe. All right, guys, so everything is buttoned up, transfer case, downpipe, dump tube, drive shaft. Everything is back into place. And uh, I had to remove the bumper because I couldn't access the bolts and stuff for the dump tube to swivel it out of the way. Um, but not a big deal. Looks freaking good though, yeah? Right now, I'm gonna fill up the transmission uh, fluid through this little, um, I think it's a 17 mil here on the top. Uh, this is an all wheel drive transmission. A regular front wheel drive B series transmission does not have this bolt right here. On a front wheel drive transmission, I normally fill it through the speedo hole. Um, the all wheel drive just makes it so much more convenient to have this guy right there. So I'm gonna be using, I mean, I've always used synchro mesh from uh, Pennzoil, and that is the yellow bottle right here. And you know, it's nice to have a lot of spare and extra stuff. You can tell with all of the spider webs and stuff, just chilling on here. And I think only AutoZone carries this, as far as I know. I haven't checked like Winchester or anything like that, but AutoZone over O'Reilly's, they have the Pennzoil. And this was recommended from Synergy Knock because of the additive and stuff that it has. half court double check I just put a full two quarts in here um, because of the transfer case So I'm gonna wrap up the video right here, guys. I know it's a short, little, simple one. And um, the EK that I was supposed to work on this weekend uh, didn't come through because the clutch, uh, I explained that in the last video, I was waiting for a clutch to come in. And with the whole COVID kind of thing going on, um, shipping is kind of delayed. So hopefully it comes in this week, but I'm not gonna count on it. And um, right now I'm just doing this to kind of keep me a little bit busy. But now that it's done and out of the way, um, I'm actually gonna go check out a car tomorrow and it's gonna be a new project here for the channel or at least for the upcoming 2021 and I hope you guys stick around to see that. I'm gonna drive the CX around the block and just make sure there's no weird noises or anything like that make sure my transmission is good and everything. Um, I don't want to do it on camera because you know the temptation is real with this car. Uh, if I put it on camera I'm probably going to want to do a launch or something and uh, destroy some other things. I don't want to do that. I don't have any more spare parts so we're not gonna drive this car on camera. 
but just know that the car is back up and going and it's not out of commission if you enjoyed this video a little bit be sure to give this video a thumbs up i truly appreciate it and if you guys want to stick around for the new project be sure to hit the subscribe button but with that being said don't forget to check out max p and rod in the affiliate link below because i know some of you guys have made some purchases and that's going to help me out a lot if you guys don't know what the affiliate program is is if you guys buy something it's going to give me a percentage through my link and that's going to help fundage to uh everything else that we may possibly buy in the future for any one of our bills so if you guys want to check out some of the max p and rod product be sure to check the link in the description below don't forget to use the discount code y static before you check out to save a couple bucks on your purchase but with that being said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.